Yo, what up Street Togs, Eric Kim. All right, so uh, another turbo thought. This basic notion is typically anything that is lightweight or the lighter something is, typically it'll win out. So I think the human bias is we typically like things which are heavy because that's how we measure worth or value. So for example, let's say I want, you know, 100 pounds of corn I'm going to measure that, and the heavier the corn, it means that there's more wealth for myself. Or similarly, you, you think about gold, right? The heavier the gold, the more worth it has than the value it has. Now, in today's immaterial digital world, this actually doesn't quite add up because in some regards, thinner and lighter is actually better. So for example, for a long time, and this is the genius of Steve Jobs and Johnny Ivan and stuff like that, is that the goal was to make the devices as thin and light and air-like as possible. So for example, the MacBook Air, right? Making the, the phone thinner, the iPhone thinner and smaller, same thing with the iPad and uh, everything else in between. Yet, in some ways, we're kind of also in society going the wrong direction is that we want bigger. So like the reason why I really don't like the new iPhones, especially the, the iPhone Pros, the direction seems like to make it bigger, bulkier, more powerful, whatever. So typically I think if I had a choice, I would definitely choose a McLaren Uber lightweight than having, you know, a super heavy, you know, Dodge Hellcat or whatever it may be. And it made me also realize with almost anything, with clothing, with cameras, with you know, shoes, backpacks, devices, whatever, lighter is almost always better. So like even with my, this camera, right? The heavier my camera is, the less likely I am to take it with me everywhere I go. And also the less likely I am to do was my desired outcome, which is to create things. Hello. So, so yeah, so typically if you want to do anything and you know, also with backpacking and hiking, like my mom is an expert on this, People will spend thousands of dollars just to save a few ounces in terms of making their equipment lighter because the lighter your equipment is, the, the further you can move with less fatigue and whatever. So that's why I'm such a huge fan of the Ricoh GR version 3 camera. It's even smaller and lighter than the GR2. So you really don't have any excuse to not care with you everywhere you go. You could just uh, slip into your front pocket or if you want to use a strap, just Google Air Kim neck strap or Air Kim wrist strap and you can use that too. So. You know, there's so many benefits of lighter and smaller and thinner. So for example, <laughs> just even with, you know, physical body, right? If you're fat and big, if you're fat and wide, whatever, the downside is you actually can't fit into, you know, the, the very small airline seats, right? So there's a, a additional cause for, uh, if your waistline, you're fatter, right? But then also it's tricky too because when it comes to muscles, certainly having bigger muscles is better. Uh, and also when it comes to height, typically taller is better than shorter. But we also don't want to be fat for the sake of being fat too big, where it's kind of like, it's better to have a high muscle mass and have a, a low body fat percentage than just being really, really big and really, really fat. So body composition and the, the proportions is actually quite important. And so when it comes to any sort of anything in life, right? Whether it comes to your, your living accommodations, it's actually funny because right now I'm like living in like a 300 square foot uh, apartment, like kind of the studio luxury apartment. And I personally love it because it's the ultimate plug and play solution. There's, we just pay our rent, everything's included. We've got a wash and dryer in unit. And because it's so small, <laughs> I could 
plug in my vacuum in the center of the apartment and vacuum every single corner without having to replug in the thing, right? So it's 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 made clean, keeping everything clean and tidy way easier, and also it's kind of prevented me from getting distracted by going to Ikea and buying like superfluous furniture and stuff like that. Um, so, and also I found with shoes, right? Like my little shark shoes. These guys are great because I could walk further with less fatigue than if I had heavy boots. So even like, I think Phil Knight figured this out pretty early at Nike when he was designing his running shoe. The more you could shave ounces off of a sneaker and the more minimalist you can make it, the better. Like actually the, the ideal shoe is actually just barefoot. So like I'm just, with my shoes, I just try to do the the most extreme minimalism possible, zero sole. And actually it's funny because as a consequence, right, there's like nothing. And actually as a consequence, all my foot pain and my arch pain has gone away. And I think the, we've been suckered into thinking that we need uber cushioned shoes but the more cushion, the worse, right? <laughs> so, and I even wonder with cars too, is that like the more plush your seats are, probably the worse. So in terms of like my ideal, maybe sports car, something kind of like a McLaren or a stripped down Lotus or, you know, even like a really lightweight Mazda Miata, um, or even the, 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 the Porsches that have the super hard seats. So, uh, going towards carbon fiber, lighter materials, lighter and stronger seems like uh, the goal. Now, so yeah, so essentially when it comes to phone, always up for the lighter, smaller, thinner one. So probably better to buy the new iPhone SE over a new iPhone Pro. Uh, with laptops, better to get a MacBook Air than a MacBook Pro. Um, clothes in cars, whatever is thinner, lighter, less heavy, less bulky. And I think, yeah, the goal is to become like air, right? Is to become uber lightweight. And so subtracting things which hinder your flight. And we could take, we could probably take this via negative approach to just like our mental things or our lives in general. And so anything that we could do to get rid of unnecessary stress and burdens and bullshit and you know toxic people from our life the better so the the long story short when in doubt subtract